what's up it's your self-proclaimed cinema shogun here and in my last video i brought you the news that there was a shooting inside the south point mall in durham north carolina and i now have an update as to what's going on in the situation we now know that three people were shot one of them being a 10 year old boy we don't we do not know as of right now the conditions of these people there were also three people injured while trying to flee the mall and while the evacuation process was going on so we have at least six people injured i'm not sure of the condition of anyone and i'm not sure of why this happened i'm not you know it could have mm. What's up? It's your self-proclaimed cinema shogun here. And in my last video, I brought you the news that there was a shooting inside of the South Point Mall in Durham, North Carolina. And now I have an update on the situation. We now know that three people were shot, including a 10-year-old kid. And there was also three other people injured as well while trying to flee from the scene. Now, I'm not sure of the condition of any of these people. They haven't announced that, you know, anyone you know, passed or anything like that from their injuries. All they said was three people shot, including a 10 year old kid and three other people injured. Now, the suspect is in custody, but the motive right now is unknown. I see a lot of people were jumping the gun and just assuming that this was just, you know, a fight over some Black Friday sales and someone got the shooting. I'm not sure, but three people shot, that would make me think that possibly this could have been something more than that. But I don't want to jump the gun on that, you know, right now. It, it could be a number of different things. It could have been a targeted attack. It could be someone, of course, fighting over Black Friday deals. I know that's what the most likely scenario is, which is sad. I mean, it's all around sad, but the fact that it was probably over a PS5 or something like that is the saddest part of this all, that we have three people shot and three others injured on Black Friday. So one could only assume it's over some Black Friday shopping stuff, but it could be anything. Like I said, it could be a targeted attack. It could be someone ran into an enemy in the mall and they got the shooting because that happens nowadays. Literally in my hometown a couple of weeks ago, I guess some guy ran into some guy he didn't like at the mall and just right there inside of the store, right at the JCPenney's, just started shooting like it's nothing. Like people don't care anymore. People don't value lives anymore at all. And you know, back in the day, I know crazy stuff used to happen, but it would seem like they were, it wouldn't happen in such a public setting. Like you might see an enemy at the mall, but you wouldn't shoot them at the mall, maybe in their neighborhood or something like that. But damn, they're just doing it right at the mall nowadays. Like right inside of McDonald's in the store, no one cares anymore. I don't know how we got here, but this is where we're at. And we all know some crazy stuff is going to happen on Black Friday. I try to stay away from Black Friday for the most part. I've dived into it for a couple of years, you know, back in the day. But for the most part, I don't go too crazy on Black Friday. I do most of my Black Friday shopping online. Plus, stores just suck nowadays. You know, don't get me wrong. I love retail. You know, I'm all for supporting physical businesses, like going to the actual stores and buying stuff, you know, because it supports the economy. It's a, it gives you know more people jobs you know so i'm a big supporter of that but all of these stores suck now anyway i haven't been to a good mall in years like it's so pointless they have nothing on the shelves you know the people they are working there obviously don't want to work there half the time it's a ghost town just like i feel safer walking through the projects at three o'clock in the morning than i do at my local mall because there's no one at the mall. It's like a ghost town. Someone could kidnap you there and no one would literally know. Like that's how it is where I'm at. But yeah, malls suck nowadays. So why even go out there and go crazy over these deals? Don't get me wrong. At no point in time should anyone go crazy over Black Friday deals, but at least the deals back in the day were something to like get excited about. Now it's just pointless. It's just pointless, yet here we are. Now I don't want to go off on too much of a tirade about why people shouldn't, you know, go crazy and kill people on Black Friday, but I don't want to jump to conclusions as to what this is right now, you know, because this could be a, you know, a multitude of things. But as I get more information, I would definitely report it right here, praying for everyone involved. I'm hoping this kid especially is okay. But as I get more information, I'll be back to you all. But for now, let me know what you think about this 
down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Go to the description of this video. I will have a link to my Cash App. You can support me over there. I will have a link to my other channel. You can go subscribe over there. And a link to my Twitter. You can follow me on there. But as always, find some time out of your day to go watch a movie.